Welcome to Science for Schools. Today we're going to show the conditions necessary for rust to form. Equipment today, we're going to need three test tubes. We're going to need a test tube holder. We're going to need a couple of beakers, one with boiled cooled water, one with plain tap water, and one with oil. We're going to need some iron nails. We have three iron nails there. And as always, we need our goggles so that we can see the results. So in the first test tube, we're going to have water, but we're not going to have oxygen. So that's going to be our boiled, cooled water. When you boil water, it loses all the oxygen in it. So this water has no oxygen. Going to add in our nail. And then to make sure no extra oxygen gets in, I'm going to put some oil on top to seal it in. The next test tube is going to have oxygen but no water. We have some salt in the bottom of this test tube. That's going to stop any moisture from forming around the nail. And in the last test tube, we're going to have water and oxygen. So I'm going to use this regular tap water which has oxygen in it. And I'll pop in the nail. And then just finish off I'm going to seal each test tube so nothing else can get in. There's our three test tubes. We'll come back in about a week and see if any rust has formed. So here we are a week later. Let's take a look at the results. If you check out this test tube it had water but no oxygen and there's no rust on that nail. In the second test tube, we had oxygen, but no water, and there's also no rust on that nail. In the third test tube, we had water and oxygen, and you can see the water is actually full of the rust that formed by the nail. So that shows that we need both oxygen and water to make rust. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.